Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review and tutorial. And today we are going to be looking at the Danny's Expansion mod. This mod adds in quite a few new and unique different mobs to your world to really spice up your Minecraft play. It is for 1.16.forge as of the moment. There will be updates to this mod coming over time as it says on the Curse Forge website. Currently, this mod sits at only around 40,000 downloads, which I would consider a very small and unknown mod as of now, but hopefully this mod comes into a bit more of the limelight, a bit more of the spotlight as you could say, because it has some really, really cool stuff with it, and I could see this mod expanding to be quite a big mod in the future. But before we get into that guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and slap that like button you know what to do. So let's start off with running you through one of the tamers of this mod. It is a really, really cool, cute little mob. It is called the Rammer. It is this little guy right here, sits at about 47 HP and is just a really cool looking mob. But the unique thing with this guy is if you tame it with a golden apple, just give it a little feed, it will start eating the golden apple and it will start to transform. You might want to back up for this little bit right here because you don't want to be caught in that explosion. Now, here we have the Grand Rammer, a very, very cool looking mob indeed. Uh, but the reason you want to feed one of the rammers the apple to make the grand rammer is because you can tame them You just have to pop the saddle on the back and left click to mount They are awesome looking indeed and another amazing feature of this mod is its attack ability by pressing spacebar It does a bite slash ram attack. So if we test this out on one of these poor cows you can see it is very, very powerful. It takes these guys out straight away. So this is a great addition to have around the world. You can have them in little pens to take them out on adventures. And they are a lot faster than if you were just walking around as usual. Another mob we have in this mod are the ice elementals found obviously within the snowy biomes. These are aggressive mobs and will launch ice attacks at you and each other if caught in the crossfire. They are not to be messed with, especially if found in a pack like this. They are deadly and they will swarm you. As of current, they don't have any drops. So I look forward to when these mobs will drop something, maybe something specific to the mob, mod rather, maybe some sort of armor set or ability, maybe. But it would be interesting to see that implemented. Probably one of the more dangerous mobs in this mod is the Manhunter. Giant, almost zombie-like creatures that wield an axe. They sort of give me a similar vibe to that of the Mutant Zombie from the Mutant Beast mod. Now, these guys are extremely strong. Currently, I am wearing full Neverite armor. And look at the damage this thing does. It is extraordinarily strong. Its attacks are quick. It, as a mob itself, is very quick, so outrunning this mob makes it quite hard. So this, with this guy, definitely recommend ranged attacks. It is a strong mob, it has good defense as you can see here. Just even trying to get it down with my Neverite sword is proving to be a difficulty. So make sure to watch out for this guy roaming the plains of the overworld. They've added some more nighttime mobs in as well, and those include the Cursed Skull sitting at about 40 HP and the Ghouls sat at around 40. These are a great addition to some more nighttime mobs, so you have to be on your toes all the time, even at night, with this world. When roaming the deserts, you now have the chance to bump into the Mummy. These strong mobs will launch bricks at you and cause spikes to come out the ground. They are dangerous ranged attack based mobs. They are not to be trifled with like I'd say with the majority of the mobs in this mod. They are strong, they are ruthless 
and they do have some amazing attacks as well as you can see here not as strong as the manhunter but still a strong strong mob when roaming the jungle it is highly likely you will come across a small tribe of jungle golems unlike the normal iron golems which are friendly until you attack a villager or them these guys aren't friendly in the slightest any of the time they will attack you on sight and from a distance they have flying projectile tracking bombs i would sh i'm going to show you them uh straight away because they are lethal just to put this in perspective i am wearing full neverite armor just so you guys can see how dangerous these guys actually are okay so we'll change on up in here so we can see that so these will see you immediately and one two three two hits and they are extremely strong even against my armor you can see if you come across a tribe of these you need to be very well equipped and ready to go head to head with these without armor one hit from these guys and that's almost it it takes you down half health and uh, they're apparently not a great fan of each other either but there you go there doesn't seem to be anywhere safe in this mod you can roam another mob you may come across in the overworld is the possessed suit of armor it is just an autonomous suit of armor roaming around hunting for its next victim and killing this suit of armor will give you your own suit of armor antique armor set to be precise and if you left click on that it shows you that if you press down three times in one direction to do a dash attack so that works in pretty much any direction there you go and there doesn't appear to be a cooldown as of now for that but let's go try this out and see if we can fight this suit of armor see how we fare against it ourselves Let's see if he can actually see us. Okay, come on. I love the animation on these mobs as well. I think they look great and are fantastic. Yet again, a very strong suit of armor indeed. Now over in the end, we have some more mobs as well. We have some spore slime, which are produced from these guys, the sporers. They drop these slime cube-like creatures that will attack you. That is their purpose. There isn't really a friendly mob in this mod apart from the rammer which you saw earlier. So make sure to watch out for a pack of these guys roaming the end as well. But not only do you have those to contend with, you have the new ender beasts. These massive, massive creatures, almost a reskinned version of the Manhunters guarding end cities. You have the archer there, as you saw, just attacking me just then. And then you also have the lancers, which there doesn't appear to be one here as of the moment. But here you see the archer performing his abilities amazingly. The animation on all these mobs, guys, in this mod are absolutely fantastic. And it's what really drew me to this mod. Apart from just the general amazing look of the different mobs involved in this mod. It's just a great all-round mod, guys, that I can't wait to see what updates happen with it. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this mod. Have you downloaded it? Will you go and download it? Go download it. Downloaded it. It's not proper English, is it? <laughs> will you go download it and let me know what you think about it? The link to the mod will be down in the description below. So, yeah, it helps you out a little bit. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.